Hey, what's up guys? Um, I'm just jogging again, trying to get ready for the marathon, or the you know, 5K, I guess. Not really a marathon, but one day. Anyways, um, I learned something this week. It's really hard to make time sometimes to run. By the way, I just jogged two miles straight without stopping once. I even, yeah, you know, I did it in a total of 20 minutes. It took me 20 minutes to jog two miles, but this is the first time I've ever jogged two miles straight. And it was like, I was going to good pace, you know. I guess whatever two miles in 20 minutes is, 10 minutes a mile, I don't know, I can figure out, or maybe six miles an hour. I don't know, I'm probably wrong. Anyways, it feels good. It feels really cool to be able to reach a new milestone, to be able to say I've jogged two miles straight. And now it's just a matter of whittling it down to less and less time. But what I was going on at the beginning is this whole week I've like, it's Friday or Thursday right now. Every day this week I've been like, I want to go jogging. Saturday actually, I was like, I want to go. No way, I think I went Friday or Saturday last week. Anyways, Monday I wanted to go jogging, didn't happen. Tuesday I wanted to go jogging, didn't happen. Yesterday I wanted to go jogging, didn't happen. It was like, Everything just kept coming up, something one after another after another, and it's really taken a lot of dedication for me to be like, no, I have to schedule time into my day so that I can go jogging because I want this to be a priority, you know? I want to be able to get in shape and run a marathon, run a triathlon. I really want to. It's a, something I'm getting really excited about. Another thing that I'm learning, the more that I go jogging, because I hate jogging. I hate it. The more that I go jogging, the more that I love it. And it's just something that I'm starting to really enjoy. It's neat to be able to go jogging, you know, and make this process, you know. It's cool to be able to have a uh, vlog, you know, um, of this process because it's something that's really cool. And I'll be able to look back on it the day that I run a marathon or the day that I run a triathlon and be like, I did that, you know. To be able to look back and say, I ran two miles in 20 minutes and that was hard. One day that's going to be easy. And I'm excited for that day. Because it's coming up. So, anyways, I'm proud of myself. I'm excited about what, what's happening. And I'm getting stronger and more set. I'm noticing that it's getting easier too. Like, to jog that first mile non-stop, I was like, yeah, I could stop right now, but I could keep going too. So I'm going to keep going. And I did, and I just pushed myself and pushed myself, because last time when I jogged the entire mile, that was huge, you know. That was just last week, and today I jogged two miles without stopping. And my goal is to get to the point to where I can jog three or four miles without stopping, and then from there, um, I just want to work on whittling down the time, all in preparation for the 4th of July 5K and the... Uh, there's also a 5K on the 24 that I'm going to get uh, set up with too. So, in fact, I might do a 10K. Or maybe I might think about it. What do you guys think? Think I could do it? You think so? I think I can. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll push myself really hard and do a 10K on the 24. I think I'm going to do that actually now. So, 5K on the 4th of July, 10K on the 24th of July. And then uh, next year I'm going to run a marathon, and uh, the next year after that I'm going to run a tri or do a triathlon, swim, bike, run, all the good stuff. Anyway, that's my plan right now. It might change. Let's see. Anyways, thanks for for following me, guys. You know, I I really appreciate everybody watching these videos. Um, it's a neat process, and I hope that you get inspired by it because I think it's really motivating me to do more to be more outgoing, to work harder, to, uh, you know, just find more fun in life. Because life can get, you know, life can sometimes get to the point where it's boring, you know, or, I don't know, just routine. But to try to find the little things in life that are exciting and then capture it on video so you can look back and enjoy that, it, it, just, it really opens your eyes to what happens in life and what's important. And, you know, spending time with your family, doing fun stuff.
but working hard and challenging your limits. And uh, so, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. And uh, keep keep uh, keep up with what's going on. I'll try to keep it fun and exciting. Bye.